Welcome everyone to the dedication ceremony to celebrate the opening of the new Hardy School building. A special welcome to school committee member, Dr. David Mack, superintendent of schools, Dr. David Lucier, school building committee member, Melissa Martin, vice chair, select board member, Marjorie Freeman, permanent building committee member, Matt King, Executive Director of the Mass School Building Authority, Mary Pichetti, town officials, Hardy faculty and staff, Hardy families, and Wellesley community members. We're first going to hear from School Committee Member Dr. Craig Mack. Come on up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, so happy to be here. Uh, glad to be out of the rain, but glad we are having some rain. I uh, appreciate that you can join us here and on Wesley Media uh, for the formal dedication of the John D. Hardy Elementary School. And I'm pleased to offer greetings on behalf of the school committee. Um, Grant already recognized folks, so I won't go through the list, but uh, certainly an exciting time for our students, our educators, and our whole community. It's not lost on me what a privilege it is to be opening a second school building in under two years. It's, it's really wonderful, and it's wonderful as you walk through the building, you'll see how this place has come alive. Thank you to the town of Wellesley for your commitment to education. This is also a day of celebration, a day for us to recognize who helped us get here, and you'll hear this from a lot of folks that this was not done alone. We are, uh, in order to, for this project to become a reality, it required cooperative efforts from a number of folks, town and state agencies, architects, contractors, designers, and certainly the citizens of Wellesley. I'd also like to extend a thank you to our neighbors who had to live through this project. Uh, we know that living through this was not necessarily an easy task, but uh, especially at your front doors, but we are grateful to you. This beautiful facility was designed to be a space for young children to learn, to grow and to thrive, and also a special place for our educators. Our teachers help bring these classrooms alive each day. They inspire a curiosity of learning, a sense of wonder, and the freedom to dream. And we feel this energy as we walk through these halls of Hardy and all of our schools. We get the joy of experiencing what our children experience. We get to see the successes displayed on the drawings, the writings, and the cultural expressions of the students throughout and throughout the halls. We hear their talents through their music, their language, and their plays, and I am confident that this school will be a legacy and serve as a foundation for our youth to develop their passion, embrace their curiosity, and hone their desire for learning throughout their education and academic journey. Thank you to everybody. And I would like to pass the mic on to Dr. Lucier. Well, good morning. Oh, come on, people. Good morning. Yes, yes, excellent. Uh, Principal Smith, colleagues, town leaders, members of our community, invited guests and friends. I'm David Lucier, uh, a very proud superintendent of the Wellesley Public Schools. And I'm so pleased to be joining you on such a special day in which we formally dedicate our brand new Hardy Elementary School. As Dr. Mack noted, almost six months ago to the day, we had a similar dedication ceremony for the new Honeywell School, not too far from here. And these sister schools, while not identical twins, represent a once in a generation investment in our students. And I couldn't be more proud to be involved in a set of projects that will define our school district for decades to come. More than any other location of Wellesley, each of our schools represents a nexus between the past, the present, and the future. On June 10th of this year, we held the Lights Out ceremony at the Old Hardy School, which served this community for the past 100 years. Imagine a school that opened when Calvin Coolidge was president. 
pretty incredible. On that glorious June 10th evening, our community had one final chance to say goodbye to a facility in which so many of Wellesley's children were educated for the past century. Hundreds of former Hardy students came out on that evening to walk the halls of their former school one more time. As I mingled with the attendees throughout the night, they regaled me and each other with stories of former teachers, principals, and of course, their friends. Oddly enough, no one seemed to mention any former superintendent, so um, there you have it. Our Lights Out event reminded me that schools have a singular ability to transport former students to a past in their lives, which they can offer a member in great detail. On that glorious June evening, it felt like a gift for former students and former staff to touch the past one more time. Of course, schools exist in the present every day. On August 28th of this year, the next generation of Hardy students cut the ribbon and along with our staff, officially breathed life into this magnificent new school. Walk through the halls of this new building on any given day and you will encounter the same student exuberance, the same toothless smiles and bedhead, the same friendships, the same love and care from our staff that defined the original Hardy School 100 years ago. I'd like to think that this new Hardy will also be serving the students of Wellesley for the next 100 years. Taking that into context, I'm reminded that today is but one memory of thousands that will define the impact that this school will have into the next century. The path to get to this dedication was long and at times arduous. We had to work through many, many committees, public forums, email exchanges, evening meetings, and critical votes too numerous for me to name or to count. Good things are not always easy, and the energy level around this project reflected a common desire to get it right. I think we got it right. Moving a building project through so many checkpoints is simply not possible without the incredible commitment, expertise, uh, and perseverance of an extraordinary group of staff, town leaders, board members, community volunteers, architects, builders, et cetera, whose collective work is responsible for this beautiful state-of-the-art school in which we now find ourselves in. The dedication plaque inside, I hope you saw it, uh, in the entry is simply not big enough to name everyone who's had a hand in building this beautiful new school. I also want to offer a special thank you uh, and thanks to the Massachusetts School Building Association, the MSBA. Mary Piketty, the executive director, uh, is here. She'll have uh, some words momentarily. We also work with Jack McCarthy, the former executive director, um, going all the way back more than a decade ago when we were thinking about the right approach uh, connecting these building projects. Uh, you may not know that one penny of our sales tax goes uh, to fund critical school projects like this all around the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And we've been so fortunate in our history now to have two schools built in partnership with the MSBA, this beautiful school and Wellesley High School, which you probably know opened in February of 2012. Mary, thank you and the MSBA for being such tremendous partners for us uh, in supporting our buildings here in Wellesley. Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> I've been so proud to have played a part in bringing this school to life. I can still remember our earliest concept meetings and the excitement of all involved in developing a design from scratch to best serve our students' needs. And I think we all learned from some tremendous architects from SMMA, Alex Pitkin and later Mike Reed, who took our conversations and translated them into the beautiful spaces that you'll get a chance to tour in just a little bit. Uh, I wish Mike were here, the principal arch architect, because I would tell him there's uh, a whole cohort of us involved in the project who got an education on architect speak. And so when Mike or Alex would say, you know, the impact of fenestration in that space is going to result in thus, we know exactly what he means now. So um, one of the benefits uh, of being involved in such a technical project. With the opening of this new school, we've now begun the next chapter of Hardy's storied existence in the lives of the next generations of students, which will be shaped in these walls, in these corridors, every single day. This is an accomplishment for which we should all take incredible pride. It remains my honor to serve as your superintendent of schools, and on behalf of a grateful school district, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, and congratulations to our community. And next up, we are going to hear from
School Building Com a Committee member, Melissa Martin. Come on up, Melissa. Good morning. So this is, uh, this is such a, an honor to be here. For those of you I haven't met before, my name's Melissa Martin, and I was on the school committee for two terms, 2017 to 2023. And during that time, I had the honor and privilege of serving on the Hardy Upham School Building Committee. Um, so I have to say a little bit of forewarning to you all that as I thought about what I would want to speak about this morning, I actually teared up each time I did. And so you have been forewarned. And the reason is because this building required so much communal action. It required people coming together from across the community. It required, as uh, Dr. Lucier noted, many, many, many committees. It required hard conversations. It required a lot of discussion between partners who didn't always agree, but who resulted in an end product that was better because of that civil discourse and that civil disagreement. Um, so on behalf of the School Building Committee, I want to thank everyone for their partnership, but I also want to thank those members of the School Building Committee, many of whom are here today, for their relentless work over hours, many meetings, um, and their partnership with uh, FMD, SMMA, Vertex, Shamit. I too benefited from uh, learning architect speak. I um, understand a lot more about design and construction than I ever expected. But more than that, what I want to thank the School Building Committee for is after all of that discussion, deliberation, hard work, and design um, decision making, at the end, Everybody came together and moved forward supporting a communal project that got passed with high, high numbers at the ballot box and at town meeting. And as a result, we now have appropriate facilities to educate our children for generations to come. And it's because of this hard work and dedication by all involved. And I would be remiss if I didn't say for um, our representative from the MSBA. We are eternally grateful, not just for the financial support the MSBA and that partnership provided, but for the structure involved. The school building committee had all the right people, and that is in large part because of um, the guidance and the structure that the MSBA has laid out for partners um, across the Commonwealth. So thank you very much for allowing me a couple of minutes to speak. Thank you all for being here, and thank you for your support of um, the students and the educators in our town. And with that, I am pleased to introduce a um, member of uh, the select board, Marjorie Fryman, who also served on the school building committee and was a dear partner over many years. Wow, it's been a long time since I've actually held a handheld mic. Good morning and welcome everyone. It's my pleasure on behalf of the select board to join you today at this momentous occasion. To build and open one new elementary school is a great achievement. To open two in one year is extraordinary. My colleagues and I celebrate the partnership among the board, the master planning committee, the school building committee, the town's permanent building committee and facilities management department, the superintendent and school committee, school principals, faculty, staff, the executive director, the finance director, consultants, and countless volunteers who worked together for a dozen years to reach this milestone. We are also very grateful to the Mass Massachusetts School Building Authority for the funding support and the help along the way. We thank the Hardy community for your patience as our town's elected and appointed bodies endeavored to update and replace our community's oldest schools. The new Hardy is beautiful, and having toured the building, it's clear that our students will have a remarkable facility that will support their learning and growth for years to come. This grand opening reflects the best of municipal collaborative planning 
and our community should be proud of its long-term support of our educational infrastructure through the planning process, at town meeting, and in ultimate funding votes. This generation schools offers new pathways to creativity and imagination. Hardy, Hardy is thoughtfully designed to foster a host of new educational concepts that I wish had been in vogue when I was in elementary school. My old small town schools had classrooms with desks, blackboards, and coat rooms, not features like maker spaces, learning neighborhoods, right-sized lockers, and an auditorium. The community is educating for a new future, and we are grateful for the vision and hard work that brought us to this day. The Select Board thanks everyone who dedicated years to bring the new Hardy to fruition, and we wish you well in this beautiful new school for years to come. Thank you. And now we'll hear from permanent building committee member, Matt King. Good morning, and thank you for that introduction. Um, unfortunately, our chair, Michael Tower, was not able to uh, join us today to speak at this auspicious event. I point that out because He's a way better public speaker than me, and truth be told, he tends to be more politically correct, and I'm told better looking, so it's your loss. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so uh, again, my name is Matt King. I've been a resident here in the town of Wellesley for about 28 years. Uh, my wife is an uh, alumni of Honeywell. My kids are alumni of Sprague, um, and I've had the pleasure of serving the town as a volunteer on the PBC for about 24 years now. So um, the Permanent Building Committee, or PBC, as you've heard referred to, um, has been in existence since 1986, approximately 38 years ago. It was formed as a citizen agency to help oversee all public vertical construction projects within the town. Since that time, we have been fortunate enough to be a direct beneficiary of the creation of the Facilities Management Department, or FMD. They have been critical in our success in delivering projects such as this and I'd like to point out Dick Elliott and acknowledge his efforts because he has gone over and above on this project so we're very grateful to Dick and, and the rest of the team. Of all the projects we are fortunate enough to deal with and be associated with when it comes to schoolhouses, uh, the middle school, high school are all significant structures that have introduced us to many focused learning spaces that deepen our appreciation and our wonder um, regarding the importance that education plays in our lives. But I personally have to say that when we do an elementary school, there's nothing like when children enter a brand new school with colors and spaces that delight and create welcome opportunities for our excellent staff to engage and educate our newest members of our community. I'm not saying that the average junior at the Wellesley High School isn't super stoked to walk in a room, but they're never going to tell you that. So, A number of years ago, I was fortunate enough to hear a speech by one of the chairs of the Federal Reserve at the height of the Great Recession. They expressed an opinion that always stuck with me, that the single largest driver of the economy in the United States is education. I think that's really important and it's stuck with me over the time. So whenever we have a project such as Hardy School, I can't wait to get involved. So, and it renews my excitement and interest as a volunteer in our community to support these projects. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our team members and partners in this suspicious, suspicious, auspicious <laughs> undertaking. Again, I remind you, Michael Tower should have been here. All right. Uh, but first, uh, I'll also shout out the neighbors and the Hardy community. Um, I want to thank them for their good humor, their patience, and willingness to participate in this endeavor. We would also like to acknowledge the support of the numerous town boards and departments who are integral to the project's success. You've heard Sims Maney McKee's name, or SMMA. They have been involved with pretty much almost, I think, almost every project we've done in this town in some way or fashion. So we are always thankful for their participation. 
Um, I'd also like to thank those like myself that were able to attend the multitude of meetings with respect to the Hardy for the past decade, or should we call it decades? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, we, can appreciate, we can appreciate their continued partnership with the town. I'd also like to thank Emily Sarazen and her team from Vertex Engineering, who have been a dedicated partner in our work as owner's project manager, not only here, but at the Honeywell School. Shawmut Construction. This is our first project with their firm. Their dedication and relentless efforts to provide a best-in-class project on an extremely challenging timeline has been a privilege to be a part of. I'd like to thank this team in particular for demonstrating a positive attitude, dedication to process, and commitment to safety. I'd like to say thank you by name with your indulgence. I'd like to thank Ryan Lynch, the project executive, Joe Pollack, the project manager, Lori Slavin, our senior superintendent, who many in the Hardy environs has, has seen her and her cohort of Molly and Raymond as well on an everyday basis. Additionally, as we always, as we always, we appreciate the continued dedication of the school committee, administration, and staff. I have had the privilege of working with numerous iterations of the school committee, and I continue to be in awe of their dedication to supporting the Wellesley schools system. Lastly, but certainly not least, we are very appreciative for the support, guidance, and collaborative experience with the Massachusetts School Building Authority, who has been critical a component in the success of this undertaking. With that being said, it's my privilege to introduce Mary Pacchetti, the Executive Director of the Massachusetts School Building Authority. Good morning to Wellesley, good morning Huskies. Lo lovely to be here on behalf of Treasurer Goldberg, Chief Executive Officer Jim McDonald and myself and all of us at the MSBA. Congratulations, the building is beautiful. Um, long time coming, you've heard that here over and over again. Um, it is not an uncommon story across Massachusetts. Um, building a school project is complicated. It takes everyone in the community and I think the speakers so far have done a wonderful job in, um, in portraying that and in uh, communicating just how many of you it took. Um, and it's not always easy and people don't always agree, um, but eventually you end up here and isn't it all been worth it? So congratulations. Um, I would like to note that, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been with the MSBA since 2007, so I'm in year 17. Uh, one of the first projects I was actually assigned when I came as the director of construction at that point uh, was the Wellesley High School. So I've been with Wellesley for a very long time um, and it's been wonderful working with you. Um, just recently uh, I was uh, promoted from director of capital planning to executive director so I have 15 years of director of capital planning, two years, almost two years, I guess just one and a half, I'm trying to take more credit, uh, as executive director so still getting, getting used to the role. You've heard about the consultants that have worked with you. Um, they have been primary. They are building and designing schools all across Massachusetts. Their work is impeccable. Um, you've been in good hands, as you've said here today, so we thank them for being part of the Wellesley team. Certainly, um, we all uh, have heard about the LEED certification, the all-electric building goals, uh, being net zero ready, the um, oncoming uh, solars, hopefully, and that's all about the future. That's all about what the building uh, needs to be in alignment with state goals. Um, but you've also heard here today about what the building is like, what the building is like for its primary occupants, the elementary school children. I've been asked a couple of times this morning as I walked around to take a look at the building, what did I see? And what I see is a building that is, um, in my words, clean and crisp efficient but yet voluminous, a space like this, an opportunity to do different types of educational approaches, educational styles. Um, I would urge you, just as you've today acknowledged all the work it took to get here, be prepared as a community to continue to support your facilities group. This is a beautiful building. It's clean, it's crisp, it's efficient, 
It has some wonderful design features. It's also complicated. Everything is run on a computer. Complicated systems all integrated together. Maintenance of this facility will serve you well. So remember that when it's time for the next operational budget. Um, that's my advertisement for all of your schools. Um, uh, above that, I do want to take an opportunity to thank our legislators. Um, this building, al along with 30 other projects, did occur during um, the pandemic. Um, and so therefore, we had very unexpected construction escalation at the beginning of 2022. The legislators uh, stepped forward and provided legislation that allowed the MSBA to provide supplemental grants to those 30 districts. So pleased to say that our board was able to approve an additional $2 million in grants um, for a total of $15.5 million towards this facility. So therefore, um, just in conclusion, we add our thanks to the, um, to the local leadership, to the voices. Um, many a conversation was with the MSBA, many a conversation was with the districts and the community as a whole. You've got here, congratulations, it's a beautiful school. Thank you. And as the proud principal, I'm pleased to address you this morning. We are so excited to be here in this moment celebrating the opening of a new Hardy School. As we think about the history of the Hardy School, the original building opened just over 100 years ago, as Dr. Lucier named, in 1923, and with additions in 1925 and 1957, and modular classrooms added in 1993 and 1997, the original building stood the test of time and provided a great home for academic and social-emotional learning and skill development. At Hardy, we have always been committed to achieving a vision of excellence in which students are challenged to reach their full potential through purposeful learning opportunities that promote critical thinking, problem solving, and collaboration. These learning opportunities include highly engaging hands-on experiences such as project-based learning assignments and coding-based robotics activities. However, doing some of these activities in our beloved, yet tired, former school home proved to be challenging with space limitations. As we look ahead to the future in this new Hardy School building, I think about some of the exciting elements of design that will offer an incredible learning environment for our students. An innovation space that will allow our students to engage in challenges that will foster creativity and collaborative problem solving. Classroom grade level pods forming a neighborhood feel with adjoining learning commons where students are connected to their peers from across the grade level. Modern art, music, library, and gymnasium spaces to allow for growth and development in these various disciplines. Wellesley community, we have a lot about which to be, we could be proud and so much that we can be excited about and what's to come. We know that having a school like this is only possible because of the collective effort of many members of our local community and beyond. Thank you state and town government officials, school committee members, and central office administration for providing us with the resources, including this building, to do the excellent work that is happening each day within our school. Thank you families for your commitment to your child's education as demonstrated through your dedication to the Hardy School community. Thank you Hardy faculty and staff for you are some of the most skilled and dedicated teachers that anyone could imagine. Thank you for your commitment to our students. And most importantly, thank you Wellesley community for supporting this school building and your commitment to the children of Wellesley present and future. On behalf of the Hardy School faculty and staff, we are most grateful. How about a round of applause? And now you will have the opportunity for self-guided tours of our beautiful building. Please look for the points of interest map that was provided as you entered the building and was seated um, where you are seated right now and make sure to check out the tables that are set up in the foyer to purchase hardy spirit gear, enjoy some tasty baked goods, and learn about some of the town organizations. So enjoy your tour of our beautiful new building. Thank you, everyone.